first of all, the violet flame, the seventh ray, is the predominant ray for the next 2,000 years, give or take a little. It's been phasing in as the sixth ray phased out. So the plan calls for the violet flame, that seventh ray, transmuting, helping us to transmute all the negativity, all of the distorted energies. And Michael likes us to see them as dark crystals so that we just so that we can imagine, so we can see that we have all of these impacted dark crystals within us, which are all thought forms from the ancient past. And they're, they're like little seed atoms. They're memory seed atoms that are all through our body, just like we're bringing in the new light memory seed atoms. And so that violet flame is one of the most important things because, as you know, when we bring the light in, it creates disturbance. And so with that violet flame coming in, it helps us to transmute to change those dark crystals of, and so that we don't have to bring them out into our world to dis, to distort our energy or our environment because they come out in that in that infinity sign and that's what creates the chaos and so we've been in that process for quite a long time and the other important thing is that as we bring our consciousness up to that mid force so that we can begin to stay centered. See, all of this is about coming back into balance and harmony, about the uh, approved or the blueprint design spectrum of light and shadow. So that that wieldy cross of matter that we've created, we're gradually bringing that back in so that we still have choice and we still are co-creators but it's in harmony with the divine blueprint and so therefore we can make those choices with discretion and discernment. And so that violet flame is what it's about now. That's going to be primary. But secondary is the first ray of divine will for after we clarify, after we change and transmute all of that energy, we are going to, we are building a new reality and we're building it right here. It's starting in our mind and our body first. And so from there, then it's going to begin to expand out. And that's why we're going through this clearing now because it is so important that we shift gears, that we get back to neutral. That's what Michael is showing me so emphatically. You've got to stop and allow that energy to, to begin to change and that's why all of these things are happening to us now so that we can shift gears, so that we can come to neutral, so that we can stay centered in our heart. Because, in our sacred heart, because as we become more proficient at co-creating, we can't create the chaos, we can't have the scattered, distorted energy. So as we do this, you can see more and more is coming in, and it's magic. You can tell by yourself, by Randy, by thousands of people that are studying Michael's teachings, that he's taken it step by step. Mm -hmm. And it's been, I would say, it was difficult for us because we didn't know what we were doing. And that's what's so important about the teachings that Randy and I and other messengers are bringing is so that you can, they have to move through it more quickly because the higher frequencies are coming in. And uh, it is causing distortion. It is causing people so much uh, fear and mm -hmm. you know, all disturbances of all kind. And so that first ray, Michael's energy, of course, he's the guardian overseer. And so uh, Zad Kael, and, and Lady Amethyst, and Archangel Michael, and Lady Faith, they are predominant now on Earth so that they can help us clear the energy so that we can begin to move forward and create. It's always got to start here. And then it radiates out from there. And then what I, as we change ourselves, that's the greatest gift we can give the world and ourselves because then we produce the energy that if people are ready, then they will feel that and it'll open their heart or it'll make them curious or uh, you can see how it's building. And so that's the violet flame, but also the fact that people like us that now can bring that energy through us is also going down into the earth and there's great labyrinths and there's great caves where these violet flames have been from the beginning time, but they've been like a pilot light. They're shut down. And so we've ignited them. We've ignited them, the people going on the trips, and just, and you don't even have to go on a trip. Like with us and our meditations of going into the labyrinth and, 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 and desiring to help to send that energy into the earth. 
and the Greek crystals that have been dormant too, that, that have the encodings of the earth, the ancient history, and now it's being infused with the new divine blueprint. So we are, we are very active participants. And so between the violet flame and, and, and what we're doing and with the first ray, that is the major steps of ascension.